Hello, I'm Dr. David Glover. I'm a family physician who's been practicing in Warrensburg of Johnson County, Missouri uh, for the last 38 years and I'm here to talk to my community tonight. Unfortunately, there's a lot of anxiety and concern about the recent COVID-19 virus that's been spreading throughout our country and causing a worldwide pandemic. Tonight, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the virus and explain about what the virus is. We're gonna talk a bit about how it spreads and most importantly, I'm gonna give you some things to help protect you and your family so that you don't have the fear that you may be having now. First of all, COVID-19 is a new, unique virus. It's part of a group or family of viruses called coronaviruses that have caused common colds in people for years, but we've never had this particular virus in humans before. We don't have an immune response to it. We can't really fight it off the way we do a common cold. And because of that, it can be much more severe. The virus that we're talking about, COVID-19, is brand new in people, but we've learned a lot about it. And I'd like to talk to you tonight about how it spreads from person to person so that you know that, and that'll make a, you really realize that the recommendations we're giving will be very helpful to you, protect you and your family. The virus is spread through respiratory particles. Those are relatively large particles that come from the nose and throat of people who are infected. Once it's in a person, it will tend to be in the nose and throat, and it may not actually invade that person for up to 14 days. During that time, you're not very contagious, but a lot of times, a day or two before the symptoms start, you can be contagious. So there's a period where you can be contagious and not even know it. Once the virus starts infecting people, it starts to grow in the nose and throat, and then it starts to spread through the bloodstream, which frequently causes symptoms such as achy muscles and fever. And ultimately, it may land in the lungs where it does the most damage. And that's what you're hearing about with the people who are having a lot of difficulties with respiratory problems. The, the microparticles that are spread, the respiratory droplets, usually will not go more than three feet to six feet when people cough or sneeze. If you stay six, away, six feet away from people, then when they cough or sneeze or breathe or talk, they, you will not be getting the particles in your nose, mouth, and throat, which is the only place the virus enters your body. So that's why the recommendation is to stay away from people. Sometimes the particles can land on surfaces and they can live there for a while. So if you touch an infected surface, that can with your hands and then your hands go to your face, then the virus can enter your body. As long as the virus is on your hands, it does no problem. But when it gets to your face, then it can enter the body and that's when you can become infected. So knowing what we do about this virus, there are some things we can do as a community which will really go a long way in reducing your chance of becoming infected and others in our community from getting infected as well. I've kind of made it into a simple two-step process. First, I want you to be a good neighbor. What does that mean? That means, number one, if you're sick, stay away from people. Stay at home. Even if you think it's a minor illness, such as your allergies, or maybe a cold with a little bit of a headache and a runny nose, remember, this virus is part of the group of viruses that just cause common colds normally. So, even early and mild symptoms can be the sign of this infection. So anytime you're feeling off or feeling like you're getting sick, please stay at home and stay away from other people. Secondly, if, you out, if you're out in public, you need to stay at least, at least six feet away from other people. You might be infected and not know it. They might be infected and not know it. And if you stay six feet away, as we talked about before, those respiratory particles are not going to get to your nose, mouth, and throat directly, and therefore you're less likely to get infected. The second part of the easy thing we can do is hands off. What does that mean? First of all, hands off of other people. Don't touch people. When you're out in public, just don't touch them. No elbow bumps, no foot bumps, no handshakes for sure. Just don't touch people. So hands off of people. The second part of hands off is getting the viruses off your hands. Wash your hands frequently. Every time you touch a surface that could be, be touched by other people, wash your hands with soap and water. If you don't have that available, you need to use hand sanitizers and make sure they have at least 60% alcohol in them because the virus is really kind of a wimp. A lot of things kill it. Soap and water kills it. 
alcohol sanitizers kill it. Most common disinfectants kill it. So any way to get it off your hands is important. And the last part of hands off is hands off your face. It's really difficult, but you need to keep your hands away from your face because that's the only place where you're gonna get infected. So tonight, I've given you three, two easy things with a couple of components to them. They'll help protect you and your family and lessen your chance of getting the coronavirus. And I think it's really important as we're fighting COVID-19 for us to all consider being good neighbors and get your hands off.